It's a crucial time in the league for tonight's six players. And all the biggest names in the world are here, but they don't have me faced. I'm here to win it all. I'm here to play in and hopefully with a little bit of luck win the Premier League. I've won the titles, I've won the championships. What I really want is the Premier League. I won the first World Series of Poker Europe and I'm now here at the Premier League to try to get another title. Sometimes you should be frightened of the lion that doesn't rule. I'm the Premier League champion and I'm hoping not to make a complete fool of myself this time. Players have gathered in the green room to get in some last minute gambling. Check out the point standings and those not in this heat are here to watch events unfold. Well, looking at the league table, all eyes will be on Tom Dwan tonight. If he gets a big score here, a win, he's guaranteed to make that final table. Any good placings will give him a good chance of maintaining the top four. The big implications are for that playoff zone, though, this evening. Vicky Corrin, Tony G, and Roland DeWolf all on similar point standings. They're going to be looking ahead and looking over their shoulders, trying to stay in the top eight and give themselves a chance to make top four for their next match. And in the relegation zone, for Annette Oberstadt and Andy Black, it is really time to put up. They need a win. And if they go out first, then they could be in really tough shape or perhaps even eliminated. Talk about the pressure being on. If you don't have bottle, you're gonna get spilt on this table. Big implications for the middle of the leaderboard. Pressure on everybody except perhaps the young 22-year-old big gun, Tom Dwan. Chips on the table. Yellow yeah. chips worth a thousand, blues are two, reds five thousand each, a hundred thousand in front of every player. I'm joined by a pretty interested watcher in Nanad, medic in Nanad. Do you know what you need to have happen here to stay in the race? Well, I haven't had the greatest start, so uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm kind of in the bottom of the heat, and I only have one more round to go. So I'm gonna need to win in order to give myself a chance, and then uh, uh, I'm probably gonna need Tom, Tom Dwan to either win or get second, and I'm gonna need uh, Andy Black to do either win or get second. I'm sorry, that's a legitimate hand for to fold. Okay. I think I'm at what heart. point is everyone going to realize that Overstadt is playing really fast? Because she's raised now the second pot. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, they're all they're all top top class players. It's not going to take long, but um, cool. it, it, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, she might not. She might just be starting like that. I'm sure she, she mixes up her play quite a bit. So we'll, we'll see what develops here. But well, I mean, Roland's got her strangled, but little yep. does he know, right? If there's over cards here, over cards. Uh, yeah, he's going to have a tough time if some yeah. high cards come. I think Roland may, may uh, call one bet here, but uh, I don't know if he's going to go further than that. Let's see uh, how dedicated she is to win this pot. 8,000. I mean, players like Roland right now, Vicky and Tony G, to me it seems like the least Pass. obvious strategy about whether to play fast or slow. What would you do if you were Roland here? I mean, with 16 points. With 16 points? He's uh, Roland um, with 16 points. He's kind of, he's right in there. Uh, he's mid-pack along with Tony G and Vicky. She has 18. Well, I mean, it is Tom. Roland has been a guy, Nanad, who seems to have been uh, like, like really tight in some stages in this Premier League, and then a couple, cool. couple times he opened up his game. I mean, yeah. what's up with him? Well, that's that's. I think that he, he, I think he's playing really well, actually. Uh, he mixes it up a lot, which which you need to do. You can't. I, I think to be successful in poker and in this tournament, you can't just play one style. You have to be able to mix it up at different stages in the tournament, and I think he does that very well. Now, as uh. As Roland li Roland's limped here with the ace eight, and Tony G is letting him have a free flop with the tens. Yeah, the interesting, uh, interesting limp there by Tony G. He's playing it pretty safe. Little four does thousand. Tom Dwan know what power is out there, four. but this four thousand bet should. Four. Everybody likes it. And Roland just called. It's a pretty safe card for Roland. I think Tom may give this okay. one up, okay. especially since he got two callers. Okay. Roland is uh, playing it pretty safe here. He's really trying to keep this pot small, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Check, check. Finally. 5,000. 
it was the kind of thing where if the pot gets bigger, then, then Tom has more incentive to make a, a super bluff, right? Tony G is very tempted here because Roland could have the flush draw. He may pay this off. Nice is up. He, he got the maximum value here. And it was, a, it was a nice bet on the river. A lot of people yep. wouldn't have made that bet on the river, would they? Have, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Curiosity. They might, yeah. That was a very good bet and uh, worked out well for him. There's I'll one thing that rolls in love. It's kind of getting a little extra value out of Tony G. Yeah, yeah. 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 There seems to be something about the two of them. There's going to be some verbal uh, warfare coming up, I believe. At the end of cost roll. I like your rollers. It's OK, Wait. buddy. Pass. If I had have hit the flush, I might have won the tournament, man. Pass. That's, that's the other thing. If I won, if I didn't make a mistake. Cold. Cold. And I'm, I'm guessing Vicky is kind of happy shame. that she's going to kind of get good. to see what yeah. Andy and Roland do before she has to act on her hand most of the time. Um, she's got her eyes on those two players. Like. Yeah, they look, yeah they're, they're the ones that um, they're kind of uh, not really desperation, but um, they're the ones that need to get some points here. And an interesting flop right here. Vicky might get get herself into trouble here. Wow. Five Actually, passes. Tom and, and uh, Andy both have the, the 10. Wow, this, this is going to be very interesting. Cool. And and black is going to slow play this because yeah. Duan could have anything, including yeah. complete air. Is that the idea? Well, that is. Uh, yeah, there's different ways of playing it. A lot of some players like to fast play the their big hands. Vicky may raise this. Raise to 17. Oh, this is going to be an interesting hand right here. Very interesting. Vicky is probably done with this hand uh, after she gets action, but um, it's going to be interesting to see what Tom does here, and then also <laughs> what Andy does. I just feel the that it's a really dangerous raise from Vicky. Even even if uh, Tom raises here, Andy Black is kind of in a tough situation. Oh. Andy uh, is going to have to raise it here, I believe. Yep, right. there he goes. It's too many Point cards out there that could hole. complete some weird draw, and you have to just spend yep. it. I mean, is that the idea? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. There's the the, the Jack Nine, the uh, King Jack. There's a lot of uh, well. There's a not. There's a lot of draws out there, and uh, he just wants to get the money in right here. I mean, doesn't Vicky have to tell herself, "Look, Andy called, yeah. and then has, I mean, it's come back around yeah. to him. She, her hand yeah. is so dead. Andy yeah, has yeah. to have a ten here, right? Pass. Is there any way Andy no, cannot no. have a ten? Andy here? or Tom. I I, I could I can see Tom folding this hand. I think he's good enough to fold this hand. I'll, even though he is very aggressive, this is a situation. This is gonna show show his true colors. But it is very very tough to fold. But um, it's pretty. I don't know. It's pretty obvious that Andy does have the ten here. Andy almost can't be making a move. So it, this would be a very impressive fold by uh, Tom. And I, I think he's capable of making this fold. Wow. That's. If he's given himself a chance to get away from this, that's just yeah. that's ridiculous, isn't it? That's wild. It's th just the way the action happened. It's very hard, but I think uh, if anybody is capable, I think he is. Well, he's taking the chip out. I don't. Uh, looks like he's gonna. Oh, he's thinking twice. It'd be an excellent fold if 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 he can uh, if he can think it through and yep there he wow. goes there wow. he goes wow <laughs> and that's that is really world class and from a guy who's as aggressive as Tom I yep. mean the the way the action came down very very <laughs> impressive fold but uh, the way the action came down he just he just figured it out that uh, Andy cannot be making a move there he has to have a ten and uh, his three kicker can't be good so world class fold there by Tom wow and. Yeah. It has to be one of the marks of a, of the great <laughs> players is the edges in their game. Not only can they just make all kinds of moves with nothing, yep. but um, able to lay down hands. Yeah, you have nice. to. Nice hand, the sir. Poker, there's, uh, there's a lot of thing involved, a lot of uh, different elements involved in poker and uh, laying down hands, even especially him being an aggressive player and having the image of being an aggressive player, he was still able to uh, make that great fold. That's what makes him, uh, that's what makes him a great player. Vicky's raised this to six and call. Queen three. Only if it folds. It's not good if it calls. And that's just called behind her. 
Tom's not folding this, is he? He's going to see a flop with this one. He likes to re-raise a lot, but this is the type of hand where uh, you like to see a flop and try to... There's a lot of big draws he can hit with this hand. Although he's reaching for chips. <laughs> Oops. You just see what his stack is. His stack is 72 right now, Nanad. I mean, 72, yep. You're dancing and we're all if, looking. If he makes a re-raise, isn't he committing he himself? Like he might now. be, uh, yeah, 6,000. Yeah. Is it I don't yeah. see him re-raising and uh, folding the hand, so. You just grab his chips, throw them in, and then you put it's your It's going to be interesting to see what he does here. I, I see him calling, actually. Cause Mike, it's, oh, wow. It's too much money. Very strong play right there. He's here to play. He is, and I mean, for Vicky, it's it's, gonna it's be, a tough situation, isn't it? He knows he's putting her in a tough situation. Wow, she and it quickly tough. folds. Wow, wow. That, that has to do with with tactics of the leaderboard, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah, the, everybody's afraid to uh, go out in sixth place, so he's forcing the opponents to make an all-in decision when it's uh, their tournament and the point system uh, on, on the line. He does that very effectively. He forces the players to uh, make those tough decisions. No, That's a real photo. big, not only a big yeah. message, but a big indication of the kind of advantage Duan's going to have right now because uh, until at least one player goes out. Raise yep. 5,000 total. Yep. Vicky, I yeah. I think Annette as well uh, may have an advantage just because uh, she's she's cool. coming in with the attitude of all or nothing. So uh, she's them two are going to have a big advantage here. It's going to be dangerous for them in okay. case the other players do pick up a hand, but most likely they're not going to pick up hands, and them two are going to pull pull ahead, I believe. It's quite funny that Annette seems to convince herself of this because yeah. nobody else seems to feel like she's yeah. under this kind of pressure but her. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, but I may work out for her. Yeah, Annette is the yeah. razor in this pot. Yeah. Five three off suit. Three three three. Flop to three. Check. Pretty much everybody Rolling. can yep. be happy with their hand. Yep. Check. Roland is still ahead with his sixes, but with with four players, he can't be overly excited with that hand. Has it been checked around to Tom? I think, yeah, Tom is thinking here. Check. Oh, Tom picked up the flush draw. Check. <coughs> 6,000. Andy Black now, I guess, kind of has the worst hand. He's got six here. Yeah, yeah. How um, should you think about this if you're in that? I mean, cool. well, it's a very small bet that Andy put out there, so Annette may think that she's good here, and she she made the call. So it's going to be interesting to see what Tom does here, be, being an aggressive player. Cool. He's going to take a he's going to take a free look uh, at the river. He's got a lot of outs here. Now Roland is in a very tough spot. Wow, Roland makes a very good call yeah, there. It was cool. such a small amount that uh, he decided to see if his sixes are good. You just kind of feel like if they all check yeah. around to Dwan, is, <coughs> is he capable of trying to make a bluff here? I mean, or is he going to get paid? Um, It's yeah. going to be a tough yeah. spot for for him to bluff with this many players and yeah. with his reputation. Five. He it gave it up. Five. Roland's going to take it down. He doesn't beat me. Sixes. Sixes. Wow. Uh, Roland takes that it down. So Nine, six. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom is uh, <laughs> Tom is thinking he should have raised the turn now. Probably would have been drawing dead. That would have been the best. It's an amazing short of hand. I mean, it, it feels like Roland just kind of got given that pop. But could anybody else have won it? I mean, well, not so much given. Uh, he still had to make a. Uh, there was three. There was a bed and three or two callers in front of him. His sixes, like Tony G just said, his sixes could have been drawing dead there. Yeah, and he still made a call. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of times his sixes are not going to be good there, and he still has to fade a lot of cards. Yeah. Against uh, against three other players. Yeah. It was just fun. Pretty what fortunate for him to uh, fade all those outs. Indeed. <laughs> and the blockers. <laughs> Raise to 5,000 total. Tom's going to open up with the ace four of club. That's, uh, that's a, that's a huge monster for him. Way, way ahead of his range yeah. right here. Huh? Cool. And Pass. I think it was Helmuth or Andy kind of saying that this, this Tom... D the best overall way to play him is not to call him, but to uh, to re-raise or fold type of thing pre-flop. But yeah, there's different ways. Yeah, you, it's he he plays well after the flop as well. But um, there's different ways. I I don't really know exactly what the best way is. But um, 
re-raising re is pretty effective, but he can't do it too often okay. because he he'll swing back. So um, calling sometimes, mixing it up, calling sometimes, raising sometimes. Uh, that's probably okay. the best way. You can't avoid him because he's at yeah. the table. Yeah, I you mean. can't avoid him because he's pretty much in 50% uh, <laughs> of the hand. So. But uh, trying to flop a big hand with a uh, pocket fours Check. kind of, uh, I, I understand it. But um, with, with the blind structure, actually, it's still the first round. So now you, you can kind of trap and uh, try to flop a big hand. But once the blinds get bigger, that, that's when it's complicated. You can't really see flops with pocket fours. Cool. Got it. Very good call there. Very good call there by Andy. It was a hero call, wasn't it? Very good call. He's playing the player right yeah, there. I know the fours are going to win eventually. I've been trying to away from them the whole tournament. <laughs> Andy's right about that. He's gotten, he's gotten, he's gotten his money all in with the fours several times uh, pre-flop. Uh, <laughs> seems to like those pocket fours, and they finally paid off for him. <laughs> well, he's, he's only lost about three hundred thousand so yeah. far in the uh -huh. Premier League with them. So yeah, maybe his luck will change right now. <laughs> we haven't seen the best of you this Premier League. Not yet. I hope it's in the final. <laughs> 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 Possible. Tom looks like Raise he's a little frustrated. He fell down to 60,000. <laughs> Raising with the 8 6. Pass. Let's see if he gets some action. Oh, rolling Pass. folds, the King 10. Surprising right there. He has position as Pass. well. Pass. Cool. And she's just called here. Oh wow! Wow, oh, this this God. could be interesting. This could be interesting. The K six. Yep. I see a check raise coming here from Annette, and uh, well, she's gonna lead out. Seven thousand. Feels like that'll look weak. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a uh, usually a lot of times when players lead out, they well not a lot of times, but uh, it's kind of yeah, it, it shows weakness. Slipping, my bad. And he would get it. <coughs> Raise to 20. Tom's falling for it, hasn't he? Well, Tom, well, Tom does have top pair here. He may, he may think he has the best hand. Um, uh, this, this is going to be interesting. Uh, she, uh, well, she's pretty much obviously going to go all in, and then uh, Tom, Tom may get stubborn and uh, pay this off with his, with his top pair. He raised all in. This is a draw heavy board here. He insta called. Yeah, yep. it's a draw heavy board. There's a lot of draws out here. You got outs? <laughs> <laughs> Three, four? Tom, Tom, is, oh, well. Tom is in trouble now. Eight, eight, need, uh, runner straight cards or two eights to come. Durr's all in. This is huge for the, for the league table. Nice hand. Thanks. You probably thought I was. That three bidding a draw, right? A top pair. <laughs> <laughs> last last session, uh, Pocket six is in the other hang on. he hit the runner on it. It's, it's all over Good here. Mike time. Yep. <laughs> Oh, look at this. It's chop. That's pretty good. Take <laughs> 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 it. Looks like a chop. Adios. See ya. Could nearly, could nearly sell a chop. I, I could sell that in Russia. Because 15 like hands for Dwan. He's got the bagel. Now he's still in good shape, but wow. Good stuff for a net right now. Played 53%. She's got 162,000. She's won more pots than everybody else. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, She came out swinging and uh, she got pretty fortunate to flop a big hand against the aggressor player like Tom, and he flopped top pair as well. So, very fortunate spot for her. Uh, I mean, I don't really get that get as disappointed with bad results as most people do. Um, that uh, sometimes you're gonna have good results, sometimes bad results. As long as you think you like play decent, then over the long term they should be good. This week's been like Tony G light, not in the physical sense, obviously, but <laughs> <laughs> in the performance. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of verbal warfare between these two. At the moment, you two. haven't done anything better, so... Yeah. <laughs> Equally bad. In fact, you've won one. I'm ahead of you. Cool. Yeah, they are equal in points, but Tony does have the tiebreaker cool. with the win. Mm -hmm. G and DeWolf. <coughs> Look. 
Look, look, listen and learn. Look. Vicky has seemed so sure tactically throughout so much this Premier League. Tonight seems like the first night where she's not really sure. Does she want to be playing hands? Does she want to be folding? Yeah, she's kind of. Uh, she, the the other other uh, events that I've seen her play, she's Check. kind of played a lot of pre-flop, ag aggressive pre-flop, and this time uh, she's trying to see some flops and outplay players after the flop, which I don't think. Uh, it works to her advantage. I think she plays really well, uh, re-raising and uh, cool. raising a, raising big pre-flop and take, nice. taking 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 a lot of pots pre-flop. Yeah. So she like, it looks like she's uh, mixing up her her game, but uh, it may work out for her. I mean, like right here in an edge, she needs to find a way to win this without hitting the flush, doesn't she? I mean, well, yeah, and it's it, she may be able to just because. Uh, well, looks like Roland may lead out. Uh, he may get stubborn here with the seven. Going it's gonna be an interesting hand. Uh, having uh, having Vicky call, it's most likely that she limped in with an ace. That's what he's thinking right now. He's trying to figure the hand out. Never seen him think so hard. Yeah. Looks like he's pretty confused. I'm just wondering, was the king kind of a bad card for him as well? Like, if she did have a flush draw, I mean, it had the king there. I mean, yeah. well, I don't know. Yeah, the king. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going through his mind, but um, yeah, it looks like he's trying to figure it out. I think he's gonna check. Sure, exactly how to play this one. I think he's just trying to get a free card. Yeah, he maybe he's trying to talk her into uh, checking it down as well. Could be possible. He's trying to get a read on her, maybe. He may throw a small bet out there. Surely he can't be thinking this hard. He must be trying to sell. Is he trying to sell some kind of raggedy ace here? He may be. He may be. He may be just uh, trying to get a free card here. Up with the bed. 14,000. That's a little different from Roland. I mean, Vicky's. I guess she's got about 50,000 in front of her. So this 14. I mean, I guess in some ways you'd be priced in, but it's a lot of her stack. How do you think about that for yeah, her? Yeah, it's a it's a tough spot just because in a tournament sometimes you are priced in, but um, you're risking a big big percentage of your stack, and in tournaments every chip is valuable. So <laughs> she, yeah, she gives it up. Yes. She gives it up. I, mean, Very, I couldn't give you a free card. Very good bet. He f looks like Roland figured it out pretty good there. He didn't want to ha have to check call or uh, check and then give her a free card. So very good bet there. If she ha if she raised him there, he he knows that uh, he knows that she did have the ace. So he figured to uh, lead out and bet and see if she ha either has the flush draw or the or the ace. Maybe it was a red herring, but and nice. The Just pressure will kind of be okay. on. I mean, obviously, everyone's like, I don't want to go out first. But now that it was Tom out first, there's nobody they can look at and say, you know, all their competitors are still in there, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, this is, this is the, the core that's uh, in the middle pack. So uh, they're all kind of going after each other. So this a win here would mean so much for any one of these players. So one hand. Pass. Re-raise to 12,000. Wow, Vicky pick, actually picked up a hand here, and it looks like she's going to get action from uh, Annette. I don't see Annette folding this hand, even though it was a really small raise by Corrin. I mean, you wouldn't but, you wouldn't blame Annette for just chipping in here, right? I, mean, I wouldn't, but um, usually Vicky, this is very this is very weird. She, I've never seen her make such a small raise. So uh, that, that, that's probably what has Annette confused here. Annette would normally... That's such a small, small re -raise. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Alarm I bells. Yeah, yeah. Give you a chance to go all in. <laughs> wow, and she <laughs> pretty much answered it, honestly. How much have left? About 40? If she made a standard raise, uh, I'm sure Annette would be all in with this hand, but uh, now she's confused just because of the such such a small raise. You think she actually might be able to just peel off a flop and get away from it? I mean, that would be very <laughs> impressive. Oh, sick. sick. Wow. No way! She, what she thinks is wow. a chance she's up against aces or something and, and doesn't even want to see a queen? Or? Aces are, wow, very, very good fold there. Sure about that? Know what I have? If you can beat me there, you have the nuts, so that would be a very weird fold. Oh, see if kings. <laughs> That is clean, suited. Oh, well, I've seen you beat somebody's kings with that before. Yeah, I know. Suited. Suited. It's kind of hearts. 
And you fold it? What am I supposed to do? Call, see a flop? No, somebody. How much was it more to see a flop? Seven. First levels in the books. Behind. Blinds are going to go to two and four thousand. And what do you see on the leaderboard here? Well, it looks like Roland and uh, Annette are on top. Andy, Andy is right there as well. Uh, Roland has he, he's played uh, he's played tight and uh, he's he's played good poker along uh, along with Andy Black. They kind of cruised their way up to uh, 140 and 150. Annette has been gambling, but uh, she's been playing uh, she's been playing very good poker. So. So it's going to be interesting. Tony G is just hanging in there, playing uh, playing good poker. Vicky, uh, she's gotten in a couple unfortunate spots, so it's still anybody's game. What about the cut? And the pressure will kind of be on. I mean, obviously everyone's like, I don't want to go out first. But now that it was Tom out first, there's nobody they can look at and say, you know, all their competitors are still in there. If you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. This is this is the 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 core that's uh, in the middle pack so uh, they're all kind of going after each other so this a win here would mean so much for any one of these players cool. okay. <laughs> Tony's just peeling off a flop it was up to 10,000 I guess for Manette for 9,000 pardon 9, me 9,000 raise yeah interesting raise with the queen five from Annette she is she's really here to play check okay check I mean can Tony win this pot from here I mean it, what is he gonna just just try and check call down like uh like Andy did? I mean, um, I don't know. We'll see. It looks like he's gonna he's gonna try to win it here. Pass. Quick pass from uh, Annette, just because Tony has been playing pretty tight. <coughs> well played by uh, Tony G. There, he saw that uh, Annette wasn't really interested in that flop, and uh, he he let out on the turn. Very good bet right there. It was, and it keeps G in the thick of the pack. Yeah. Um, he knows he has to produce. He's been saying uh, during this whole Premier League that, you know, the format is kind of making him play very tight and stuff like that. But he comes in here, he knows he has to produce. And when he has to produce, he can produce. Yeah, he, he's a very good player. He mixes it up. That's the thing with him. A lot of players expected him to, uh, to play very aggressive uh, coming into this uh, tournament. But uh, he's actually been one of the tighter players. But uh, I'm sure... Everybody knows that he has Pass. it in him to, to mix it up and uh, gamble up a bit. So Pass. Tom Dwan keeps comparing Tony to like one of those pool hustlers where you know you never really see his oh. best game, you know, yeah. until yeah. he's prepared to show it to you. Yeah, cool. he's been uh, he's been playing very very good poker. That's, that's, that's what it takes yeah. to be uh, to be a great player. You have to you have to have uh, you can't Top have three. one style of play. Year. You have to you have to be Meeting able to mix again. it up. The two champs and, and the one. If anyone wants to turn their cards over, <laughs> if anyone wants to, <laughs> well, it's to turn your cards over, Tony. These three, uh, Nanad, were the I final the three in the Premier League they last year. Yeah, yeah like I watched a bit of that. It was uh, <laughs> pretty well, good television. The I mean, they made a mistake. <laughs> check. I check. Check. Ten. Ten thousand. The wolf's giving him a hard look here. Yeah. Is there? Uh, well, he's thinking about. Uh, he's not thinking about calling out of position. He's either thinking about raising. Well, he was thinking about raising. So. We could gamble. He didn't. Uh, he didn't put Tony G on uh, limping, limping in with uh, with an ace. So, he thought Tony G just uh, missed that flop, and he was thinking about making a raise. But uh, he didn't. He didn't have the heart and commitment to do it. So. <laughs> There's that Tony G smile. Yeah. Yeah, I told you, you need a talking chips, and uh, he's, like he, he's, he's got some. If he wins like a couple 20. more, it's going to be interesting. Give me the leverage. <laughs> See and then he might bet the flop. Not bet the turn, and then I said fold. And you might be If you had, like, 10-8 suited, you'd... Um, it's way different, way different. Ace-3. Ace-4. Off suit. Suited, I'd probably call. Yeah, I know. So I mean, what more, I did with Ace-2, I'm going to draw in. More semi-buff value. <laughs> now, there's another option, is just to fold it. <laughs> I decided to try it. I know, now I know it's not a good hand. Okay. <laughs> I tried it. Sometimes showing you cards can be dangerous, but Annette is, uh, obviously her plan is to kind of get this tight image because she's being so aggressive. Uh, yeah, well, she's, she's trying to say that she is capable of making some folds, that she's not being a complete maniac maybe, but uh, yeah. I don't know, we haven't seen what Annette has, but she's capable of having, yeah, she's capable of having yeah. just air here, isn't she? Yeah, she's uh, really opening up her game and uh, Probably gonna work here. It's gonna be a tough, tough, tough spot for Andy Black right here. Right. 
If Andy's going to go all in, it'll happen in the first two seconds. Well, he reached. Let's see. Yeah, he gives it up. And really, from Andy Black's point of view, it is a pretty easy fold, right? It's I mean, there's just not much you can do, right? Yeah, yeah. The, especially <laughs> once players do play a little aggressive. Uh, usually, when they make the re-raise, they usually uh, they usually kind of have something. So, uh, another very good uh, play by Annette. She uh, she's here to play, and uh, that that style is really going to be effective here, just because everybody's trying to get the extra points. So. I really like her chances. It's a great play, wasn't it? She's she's yeah. made several great plays already tonight. We're only like 25 hands in. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah, she's she's the one that's come came uh, to gamble, and it's a very effective <laughs> strategy uh, w w with these players and uh, the way that they're playing. Looks like everybody's just trying to move up, and she's the only one uh, left. Well, Tom, Tom Tom was there to play, but now she's the only one. Uh, she's the only one there. Uh, Try, trying to trying to go for the win right now. Cool. And another uh, limp by Vicky. It's just they're getting her into trouble, aren't they? Yeah. Matt? I mean, she's got a good hand, but yeah. it's just they're getting her into trouble. Yeah. Well, if she flops a king here, it's going to be interesting. Nice. Wow. King has a mole. And uh, I wonder if Roland needs to Roland, have a hand here. I don't I think. Mean, well, I don't think uh, Roland does. <laughs> Oh, Vicky's gone all in here. Wow. Why would you do that? Roland had the ace nine, actually has the best hand, but it's going to be tough. And he's actually pretty sick about this, isn't he? Yeah, he, he is, yeah. How much do I he may feel like he's priced in. Is this the kind of hand you, you don't really want to get priced in with? But I mean. Yeah, but uh, I think he may be committed. And uh, Vicky did limp, so you can't put, a, put her on uh, too big of a hand. It looks like Roland uh, has made the call. He he committed a lot of chips and. Let's see if it's my lucky day. Nice yeah, he move. can't fold. Can yeah. This is going to be a big swing right here. Uh, cool. they uh, fold? Huh? How can I fold? It's it's massive. Roland has about 90 back. Yeah. Well, she's going to need a lot of help. A lot of help here. Until it's over. Going to need a running two pair or uh, or a ten jack. Ten of diamonds and four. And then that Vicky's. Diamond, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. She's been in the in the top three every match well, she's played, but now fifth yeah, place. Still got an interest in the heat. Yes. This is going to hurt her. This may hurt her, but uh, she's still luck, she's still there. She I think this puts her at uh, 20 points. you know i guess i was due a bad match i haven't had any early exits so it was about time and uh, you know all credit to them i felt like i was being outplayed today i mean i haven't seen the hands yet but i think annette made a big fold against me which was very good and roland that's kind of a crazy call with ace nine but good luck to him and yeah you're getting two to one but you think she has a good hand but... yeah well yeah. i guess it's a call then depends what you put her on well and that's telling roland that he, she could have folded I do there. But it comes, a lot of time it comes down to making a read. And uh, right. Roland made a read that she limped in, and she doesn't usually limp in with big hands. So uh, Roland uh, made a really good read and decided to raise, he made a big raise with the ace nine from the, from the, from the big blind. And then once she went all in, he was he was already committed. So And he stuck with the read that uh, she couldn't really have a huge hand limping in. So. <laughs> Good read cool. and uh, good result for Roland there. Good, it's, it's huge for the Premier League. I mean, Roland is the kind of guy where you could, like we were saying, you could see him go bash, bash, and uh, all of a sudden be there. Yeah, yeah, he kind of had a slow start, but um, he, he, okay. I think he's been playing uh, good poker every time. Uh, every time I've played with him or uh, have watched him play, he's uh, the key. The key thing with him, I think, he mixes it up uh, better than uh, a lot of. More so than uh, a lot of these players do, which is uh, which I, I believe is uh, the key to these, uh, especially since it's six different heats. So you have to you have to mix mix up your play. You have to play different every day, and uh, I think he does that very well. Yeah, I mean when you think back, and I mean I guess the key hand when Roland got Tom to call like his whole stack off with you know nine five. I don't know if you heard about the hand, but it was like and uh, I mean, when you see the the kind of uh, full Tom's capable of. I mean yeah. it's like.
yeah, yeah, yeah that's. Uh, what odds would you give me that one of us doesn't make the? Top I haven't three? seen that particular situation, oh. but um, yeah, there's uh, different situations where points? sometimes you it's want, correct to be aggressive, and, uh, and sometimes it's correct to have to uh, make some laydowns. Well, we are four ways now. Four-handed really early. Did you think that that could happen? Uh, yeah, I actually thought it would uh, It would take a while, but um, I, I knew uh, Annette and Tom were going to be in swinging, so I kind of uh, expected some action to to go with uh, them two, and it looks like Tom Tom was the first one out, but I didn't expect Vicky to be out this early, so it, it's going to be interesting now, four-handed. Uh, I think uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, Andy Black and uh, Tony Gier are going to have to open up their game a little bit now that they're four-handed. So now, now they have to go for the win, pretty much. So it's it's going to be uh, some good poker coming up. And they all have a lot of chips, so it's going to be interesting. Back to Premier League Poker 3. Four still playing. Next player out. Guaranteed three points. They showed me how to do it. Big cards. They said that's the key thing. I used to play small. You changed so sick. And now I change to play big this is opening up a little bit for Roland, isn't it? Raise 10,000 total. Yeah, he has the chips, and uh, wow, unfortunate here. Three raise. Andy woke up with a hand here Raised when uh, Roland finally yeah. decided to switch up and start to play some hands. A quick fold okay. from Roland. <laughs> I saw you snap cool the other day with two fours, so I'm not making any moves <laughs> right now. And uh, Overstock folded a pocket what pair. That, I think she folded two sevens right there. Races. Two sevens, really quickly too. So, uh, <laughs> That's fine, yeah. well, I she pretty much that. when it when it comes raise and re-raise, uh, the two sevens like shrink a little bit in value. And um, I, wasn't the other I, I really like the way Annette is playing. She's playing aggressive, but uh, she's also making uh, good folds. She's making uh, when she doesn't have money committed in the pot, and there's a lot of money committed. Uh, she's making uh, she's making some good folds, which is what you need to do to be successful. Looks like you more than that. Yeah, you're starting to feel, know, don't you, that that she's not really going to let the cards dictate how far she gets in this match. I mean, she's yeah. better off with no cards in a sense. I Pretty mean. much, yeah. There's uh, there's so much to be won by uh, just by stealing blinds and kind of without showdown, you can win a lot. You can win a lot here. You don't really see, an, another another fold from her a seven. Um, yeah, you don't really need to to be all in to uh to do well. Second time Tony's played sort of a pocket pair like this from the small blind. Cool. Oh, well, we have a three-way pot here. This could be interesting. 30,000, is it? Yep. Tony's the only guy who's kind of, well, no, he's same stack as Andy. Sorry. Check. Three, Check. Roll three Check. hearts on the board, and uh, nobody has a heart, so it's going to be interesting here. Whoever, uh, whoever fires is probably going to take this down. Yeah. Yep. Pretty gutsy bet by Black there, isn't it? <laughs> Considering uh, his stack, I mean, well, he yeah, had well, about he had a decent stack, and he was the uh, he he opened the raises, so uh, he represented a big hand. And uh, with that flop, it's kind of hard to have a really big hand. You either have a flush, or even if somebody had a queen there, it's kind of hard to call because he bet a he bet a pretty big amount, so he's forcing another player to put in a big percentage of his stack. I mean, just the way things are happening as far as the points right now and who's gone out, you know, Phil Helmuth, who is in fifth place on the points board, uh, Nanad, coming into this match, could end up in ninth by the time this is all over, like if things go go uh, perfectly unlucky against him. Yeah, yeah, if he, uh, I guess if he gets a sixth place, it's, uh, it's gonna be tough for him to make it. Yeah, Andy's playing a lot more flops tonight with hands that in the past he might have been re-raising with. I mean, I, yeah. I guess you can do whatever you want, right? I mean, 40. yeah, there's, oh, wow, he's flopped, uh, he's, he's flopped okay. a set here, but uh, okay. unfortunately for him, Roland doesn't have anything. An ace or a 10 would be a very good card for uh, Andy right now. Uh, and this is 10, a good little bet right there. Roland is... Most likely gonna call here. Cool. Yep. Roland's best out, obviously. The best is only out is the five. Yeah, it's the only out. Yep. A check would be very good here. Uh, uh, he and, and you're kind of saying that because if, if Andy thinks about it, there's not really that many hands Roland could have called with on the on the turn that actually uh, 
also could call on the river. He's better off yeah. trying to induce a bluff like for me. Yeah, well, this well, actually there there are some hands. That, well, seeing the cards, uh, I'm saying it would have been impressive. But uh, he's got Roland thinking, so Roland uh, may tr may try to make a hero call here with Ace High. Is there so. any uh, any way Andy could be bluffing with a higher ace, and in which case Roland has to um, actually stick a raise in or something? I mean, no. Well, wow, well, he made the trust. call. Yeah. Very, very good, very good bet right there. That's good. Interesting call by Roland, but I I understand so the call. He, he there was a lot of draws on the turn, which is which is why Andy made the bet. Some high class <laughs> yeah. uh, poker being played right there. I like getting yeah. paid off Thank and 204,000. It, hey, it very well may be the most chips he's had in this Premier League at any stage. I mean. <laughs> There's a long way to go. Yeah. Unless we all go all in. Well, it might be tilt, tilt, tilted. Tilted right up. <laughs> Your tilt is gone, mate. Sorry, 9,000 total. Okay. Four plus five. Not Back. really a big raise. Yeah. Small raise by uh, Roland. Oh. Uh, Tony G is going to see a flop here with the 8-6. Right, we'll check on the flop ledge. Okay. Yeah, what's going through Tony's head here? Just you can't well, really hold for that way. small bet, or well, yeah, Roland just lost a pot, <laughs> so that might that might have uh, that might be involved with uh, why he okay. called this, and it was such a small raise by Roland that. Uh, Maybe he thinks he can outplay him, so we'll see what his plan is now that uh, he's flopped nothing. 13,000. Be a great place to make a play, but yep. what information does he have that a play might work? Uh, Gotta give it up. Pass. Thank you. <laughs> Roland gets right back in it. Little pot. Yeah. He's still, uh, Roland's still sitting with, uh, 144,000, so he's still healthy. He tried to make a hero call, but, uh, didn't work out for him. But if he, if he was right and, uh, and, uh, Andy Black missed the flush draw or had, uh, had a straight draw, he would have been, uh, he would have been in control of this tournament. Pass. Cool. And he's limped here, and that was the deuce three. Okay. Well, all she had to do is reach. She's going to take this pot down. It kind of gives you the idea that even if you plan on checking, you should just reach first. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Two and four thousand is over. Three and six thousand is about to begin. And Andy's Andy's won two big pots. Yeah, he's uh, picked up the the hands at uh, good times. He's uh, he's got action uh, both the hands, and uh, he's pulled ahead. Uh, all it takes is a couple couple mediocre sized pots, and uh, he's. He's pulled ahead pretty good right now with 230,000. The blinds are a little higher now, so uh, this is going to benefit Annette the most because she plays the most hands pre-flop. So stealing uh, each round is going to get her chips back uh, higher at a, at, a, at a higher pace. So. <coughs> well, the blinds are three and 6,000, and Andy Black just has that little bit extra that I guess can allow him to move a little bit if he yeah. wants to. That means a lot. Uh, well, he's sitting with 230. Second in chips is 144 with Roland, and... Um, Having that, uh, having be being able to to uh, call somebody all in and still have a decent stack left, that means a lot. And the limp here by Annette, no just kind of like because she doesn't want to stick some chips in the pot and then face a re-raise with deuces or. Yeah, um, I guess uh, she's just trying to flop a big hand. She limped on the button. She's uh, mixing up her game. Check. Looks like she got out flopped here. Eight thousand. And between a call and a check raise. Call. Roland's gonna play a small pot. He has a middle pair. It's gonna be interesting to see if uh, Annette keeps swinging, cause uh, 
Wow, that's actually a pretty good card okay. for Annette. I think she's probably going to take a free card here. She's got a lot of outs. And Roland is going to look at that and feel pretty okay. good, that's, that's right? A, it's a pretty good yeah. card for Roland. That's I'm surprised he didn't put in a bet there. I have a yeah, Maybe we that. chop it. No, I do this. Ah, I can be <laughs> Tony G's gonna have to do something. Well, here's a hand. Oh, he picked up a hand. Raised he's gonna open. Twelve thousand total. Oh. Pass. He's made a min raise. And he's at least gonna call here. Cool. We're gonna see a flop unless. Uh, cool. Yeah, three way, three way pot here. <coughs> Thirty-six thousand in the pot. This could be. This could get interesting. Could be decisive, really. Yep. Yeah. How much will Check. Tony like this? Tony flopped the ace, but um, sixteen thousand. Nobody else really has anything, so it doesn't look like. Uh, yeah, nice. he just takes it down. Every every pot means a lot right I now. Don't worry. <laughs> I want to ace go <laughs> Don't worry, he says I have. <coughs> Black on the button. Pass. <coughs> Pass. And that's in the small blind with the ace four. She's gonna raise it up. Raise to sixteen thousand total. And she feels like she can be pretty confident that Tony's not gonna just be making a move on. You know, he won't. Tony likes to play short-handed, and uh, when he has some money committed, he, he, he's, he, he gets stubborn sometimes. He likes to play flops, so he likes to play in position as well. So I can see him uh, seeing a flop here against the net. Yep. Wow, you're right. Cool. Yep, he's going to – he has position, and uh, he knows that she's raising a lot of hands, so he's going he's gonna to try to either flop something or old player after the flop. Wow, big flop for Annette here. Unless she's just trying. She's uh, deciding if she should uh, lead out or let him swing, but I, I think she is going to lead out. It'll just look too fishy if she doesn't. Well, may yeah, maybe, or, or uh, I don't know. She's just trying to decide uh, how to get the most value here. 20,000. <coughs> wow. And if Tony did have an ace here, she would be getting on really well, wouldn't yeah, she? Yeah, but Tony's thinking about this. He's thinking about making a little raise here. Which I I don't blame him because it's hard for uh, it's hard for Annette to have a to have flopped a really big hand here. So he's gonna put her to the decision if if he does go with it. But uh, he may he may just decide. Yep, yeah, he decided to give it up. Right now, the, it 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 feels like the best hands are winning a you know the best hands is won a couple pots in a row. Yeah. But sooner but, uh, or later. Yeah, well, it also seems like everybody is just uh, waiting for the big hands. Uh, there's not a lot of... Annette's the only one that's putting in uh, re-raises. And I think a re-raising re would be uh, pretty effective, uh, especially with the way everybody's playing here. Very unlikely for someone to have a hand yeah. they can call a big raise yeah. with. Yeah. Re-raise, I mean. Yeah. Cool. Pass. <coughs> Pass. And this will get flop bound. Right. Just a limp by Andy under the gun. He's got so many chips. He just kind of feeling in that, that why not make a little raise? Is he, is he that <coughs> aware of a net? Or? Well, I don't know. Uh, okay. With the okay. blinds this big, maybe he doesn't want to commit. You know, make making opening up with a raise uh, commits a lot of your stack okay. in. So. Okay. Roland hit a big, uh, big card there, but he may regret if the if, if the queen comes. No, he fills up on the river. Probably not going to get any action. Fourteen thousand. Unless. <laughs> really. Full house and <laughs> Wow, some interesting hands between uh, between these two. We just had a jack guy call. That was <laughs> pretty optimistic right there. <laughs>
Roland DeWolf and Andy Black have been in all three Premier League seasons, and they have strong views on each other. He can be a bit like me, you know, which Roland is going to turn up. You know, in the first Premier League, he was just terrible. He was just all over the place. He's a massive crack-up merchant. If you go to Ireland for a tournament, you expect him to have the lead three tables out and just a massive blow-up. So he's one of the best players you can imagine in the world when he's in front. But when he's behind, the shoulders drop, the head goes down, and, he, you know, he uh, kind of loses it a bit often. It was actually unbelievable that he managed to win last year. He's not winning this year. He just Lightning won't strike twice. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Party Poker Premier League Poker 3. Joined by Ninad <laughs> Medic, who <laughs> knows these guys inside Thomas. out. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. How did you know? Well, it doesn't fucking matter either the Jack guys win or not. It doesn't make like a fucking difference, you know? Pass. <laughs> What's the raise? 14 total. And that's raised with the 8 5. And, uh, you saw Tony gave her a lot of respect there, folding the 10 jack suited. But, yeah. I mean, what, you know, we're. Cool. we're rolling, uh, yeah, well, it's like I said earlier, it's hard to play flops when, uh, when the, cool. that much you have to commit that much, that percentage of your stack because it's, uh, you're out of position and, uh, it's hard, it's hard to flop hands. So. Wow. Wow. Roland has flopped. It. Check it. Check. This could come really good for DeWolf now. Check. Check. And that's taken a very sort yeah. of safe route to keep yeah, the pot small. Middle huh? pair and she's, wow, what uh -oh. a what a card right there. This Check. may the, the money may go in here. Check. Gonna have to bet here, I would think. She's gonna if Roland fast plays, this is she yeah. might end up sticking the chips in, right? I mean it's gonna be very tough for her to get rid of this hand. But uh She's she's made some good, really good folds uh, so far. Cool. Wow. He's and I mean, Roland's called that because he thinks there's a good chance she's just on air, right? Is that? Yeah. Or? I guess. Yeah. Um. Well, and he does have the king eye flush. There's not. I get he's slow playing. There's not a lot of cards that are. Check. That could uh, hurt him. This. She's gonna. I would. I would think she has to bet here. It, if she makes a big bet, uh, Roland may just call, but uh, I think sh if she throws in a little bet, uh, Roland, uh, Roland's going to raise it all in, and then in, in which case I, I, I going to put her to a tough decision. Yeah, I'd be sick if you have queens full. Wow, it looks I like call. he's just going to call. Wow. Eight, but it's probably not good, though. It's not good. Wow. <laughs> Roland played that extra safe. He did. But, uh, yeah, like uh, I was gonna say, uh, he probably was not gonna get paid if he did go all in there, unless he was beat. So. He could have gotten a lot more chips there. Yeah. I'm sorry. He didn't have that much. <laughs> well, you could have gotten the rest if you wanted to. I could have. And for Annette, I mean, you she has been playing Play well. Yeah. It's kind of a cold deck situation. Yeah, that was a really cold deck. Yeah. Um, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing she could have done there. Very unfortunate situation to hit that eight on the turn. And he's only goes to third nuts. Wow. All in. And this is extreme stuff from Annette. This yeah. is an extreme opinion, isn't it? This is, uh, yeah, very interesting right there. But uh, I want Annette to fight back. She's playing very strong. Is this under the Tom it's Dwan, I believe I qualify rule? I mean, <laughs> I want everybody well, she's, she's, she <laughs> fell pretty short to 39,000, and you can't really wait around much. I mean, for the last yeah. this was to zero. I play by <laughs> feeling like, a lot of times, and uh, I'm like, they if you ask her, I'm sure she's not going to say it's correct to points. go all in with three six all the time. But I guess uh, <laughs> this time she just, by the way, every, uh, the pl other players are playing. They're there's different situations at sure. different times, so there's not but really a correct way to play a particular hand. You just got to play different situations. So she just felt she just felt that she wasn't going to get played, so that's why she moved it in. Ace it's from basic, space? Basically a race. Well, it is a we race. got an all in here. Race from no, space. it's like it's a 45. -ish. 45. Well, she's playing a pot for 100,000, and she's not really that far behind. What do you have she she, she got her money in decent, and uh, if she wins this pot, she's right back in the hunt. And it's a uh, you know pretty out, good flop you? for Joey. <laughs> she's flopped top two. Roland's going to need to hit uh, she's no, gonna, not Roland's not gonna need to hit a jack for a straight or a runner, runner card. This is good stuff for Annette. She could be back in it. Now only a jack saves Rollins. Yeah, pocket fours? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't have pocket fours.
You win that open so four. Four. So We've seen some sick things in this Premier League. Yep. No, not this time. <laughs> what? And that doubles up, and she's right back in the hunt. Would have been enough. And Roland, been enough. Uh, that's going to so not really hurt him, but um, soft, soft right, right when it looked like he was going to run over the table, he's right back down to 200 and, uh, yeah, so 215. He's, he's jacks, 50, so. yeah. Okay, 50. Oh, that's what I love. That's the sort of pressure I love, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's not possible, is it? No, if Andy wins, yeah, he's second. Um, Annette has how nice. many? She's about 18 now. 12, she's about 18. I could have four for two. Calls? Just called with the six seven. That's very interesting right there. Yeah, I mean, is it because of her stack size or Yeah, well, yeah, it's because of her stack yeah. size and uh but uh I don't know if I agree with that with uh with the blinds being this big. <laughs> she should either in your mind raise or fold and raise maybe. or fold and uh it, it's Check. It it isn't that I don't know, is there's different especially since everybody's playing so tight, it's actually not that bad. Seven thousand. Can Roland give her credit for an ace or king uh, here? No, but uh, he still has to pull the trigger, and it's hard. It's hard to pull the trigger. Joey? No. You had a three? No. Then what, queen eye? There's no way I had a pair. No, I didn't have a pair. Well, maybe a deuces, but it's the only thing. Let them rob me. I don't rob anyone. I don't rob I'm just playing against. Eight five, we raising twice. <laughs> you were well then. And then I eight five against you. <laughs> when? When I had three eights. She does seem to play the. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a coincidence, but the eight five does seem to be a me. special sort of hand. Worked one time and then That is true. Rest maybe maybe it's yeah. a superstition yeah. thing, but uh, yeah. Which is something about eight five though. Huh. Like you can flop a straight with it. You got me. <laughs> I got you. Oh. You got me on the hook. It's like Tony limped in on the button as well. The three champs. Yeah, the three champs. The three stooges is the three, other way. The three <laughs> tenors. <laughs> Looks like That's the three of them don't want to play any big <laughs> pots. So. If Annette picks up some chips, I still like her style against these three players. It does feel cautious. I mean, and, and the cautious gets you into trouble a lot of times. You're trying to stay out of trouble, and that's just the best way to get into it. Island home game champ. All island The home. Irish man. The home champion. game champion, the real champ. <coughs> Paul. Black, he's he's just like been yeah. doing a lot of limping under the gun. Paul. It was the same hand did it with last time. Yeah, right? yeah. Cool. But uh, nobody's no, really. Family, the Melbourne Cup. Nobody's really uh, raising them. They're, it looks like they're all happy with playing uh, playing uh, small pots. Family pot yep. and uh, Overstock gets the ace. Might she just check this or? Well, check, she's last check. to act. Uh, 15,000. Wow. He's going to try to represent it. I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, Annette is going anywhere. She's going to have to at least call once. He's only got uh, 90,000 in that. Yeah, but uh, when you limp in on the button and flop an ace, cool. uh, <laughs> if you limp in with an ace four, you can't you can't you can't flop an ace and then uh, fold. That's just uh, just uh, th there's no, there was no point of playing uh, the ace four then. <laughs> so she's gonna have to make kind of a read here on yeah. Andy. If, I mean, he's capable of firing another barrel, isn't he? Yeah, he is. But uh, it's gonna be interesting uh, with the three. Check. A quick check right check. there. Well, that's um, what Annette wanted, uh, right? She wanted yep. to. She wanted to to freeze her, freeze him, and it looks like uh, looks like it worked. Now he may. No, uh, he check. gave. He's giving the hand up. Ten thousand. It's a funny little bet because. The eight works. Just wondering, her kicker so bad. Nice. I mean. Yeah. She wanted. Uh, she wanted uh, Andy to put put her on a flush draw and call with maybe a king high or maybe even like a pair of sevens or something. So. <coughs> Disappointing. It's it's going to be quite amazing if she comes back here yeah. because she really I mean you could have counted her out twice and and it wasn't like she's gotten lucky to come back she's no. just uh, nice. she's, she's giving herself chances yeah she's putting the chips Play. in in Four play and uh, forcing them to pick up hands and uh, it, everybody's been kind of card dead. Three raise to thirty three thousand. Nice. See if Roland got stubborn here. This could be a big pot. So it's nineteen I, more. Um, only nineteen more. Wow. Interesting raise there by uh, Andy. 
just over a min raise. Now, Roland's got Andy out. He's got him covered by about, oh, 75,000 or so. Yeah. I mean... But the King Queen doesn't match up well against a lot of hands. But uh, he may he may want to see if he has position. He may want to see a flop here. Does he have the button? Cool. Cool. Yeah, he's got he, Roland's got Ro the button. I, I I almost thought for a second that he was putting in the chips for the re-raise, but he decided to peel off the flop, and it's really dangerous here what Black's doing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, especially out of position. Wow, he's made he's flopped a good flop there, and he decided to check it. See if Roland uh, tries to take this pot away. It'd I mean, be bad timing for him. I mean, if you are Roland, what sort of hand are you putting Andy on here? I mean, what? Yeah, it was a quick check. It was a very good, uh, very good quick check by Andy. Very tricky wow. right there. Okay, that was 24 raised all in. Pass. A quick all in as well. Wow. <laughs> Roland, uh, no, everything seems to be going, uh, go, going wrong for him uh, ever since he, he took the chip lead. Blind's hitting 5 and 10,000. It's been a good level for Black. Yep, Andy uh, fought back, picked up, uh, picked up picked up hands at the right times and I uh, like, like I said earlier every every pot means so much even uh, the mediocre size pots they they uh, they determine uh, they, they determine a lot but uh, Annette Annette has fought back really hard and uh, she's right back in the hunt well the players are grumbling because the blinds are big the pressure is on any predictions in that for what's gonna happen five and ten thousand well, Andy has a uh, he has a pretty big advantage now just because of his chips. But I I really like Annette's style. Uh, with the blinds going up, I think it's gonna give her uh, it's gonna give her more the the most advantage. It looked like her first thought was all in. It's also yep. her second and third and fourth thought. Yep. <coughs> and, and there's a hand right there. I mean, Tony can't call, but if she had done something else, he could have moved yeah. with or yeah. If she opened for like twenty five thousand or so, maybe he he. he he might have uh, been tempted to move all in there, but uh, she just takes it down. 15,000 at a time is going to mean a lot. So, uh, yep, yeah, I kind of like I like her style the most, and now she's 144,000. Uh, every every one of these pots is going to mean a lot. So, I just wonder if Tony's going to have problems here in because, I mean, A6 might have actually been way ahead of Annette's range, but he's not going to get many spots to move his chips in first. Yeah, well, no, it, it's still not desperation. Fifteen thousand around, and uh, he's he's just gonna have to pick some spots. Uh, <coughs> he he hasn't been playing that tight. Uh, he's just been steady. He's he's won some small pots, but uh, the cards, if the cards come the right way, uh, any anything can happen. So he, he's playing it safe, but uh, that that might that might be the best strategy. So he he's he, he he'll be happy to move up a few spots. He's sitting in the best spot out of all of them. He uh he's currently has uh where is okay. he? He currently has sixteen points, so he's just trying to he's just trying to secure a spot in, in into the playoffs. Queens and fives for Annette. Mm -hmm. And that's an eight five. Yeah, it's <laughs> just just another notch in her eight five belt. Yeah, yeah. Eight five, yeah. And yeah. she always seems to flop something with that <laughs> hand. No wonder she likes it. It's good, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's terrific. <laughs> Fantastic. Just the difference between that having 150 now and when she had 120. I'm guessing she feels like she can afford to fold a little more often right here. 15 big blows. Well, she just won a couple of hands, so she's not she's not okay. trying to. Uh, and she's picked up some b b really pretty bad hands, so she's not trying to make it overly obvious that she's being aggressive. But uh, she's gonna she's gonna wait a couple of rounds, and, uh, and then I'm sure she's gonna be pushing again with uh, mediocre hands. All right. Whereas uh, the rest of the three, I think, are just waiting waiting to pick up hands. But uh, all three of them are great players, and I'm sure they're going to mix it mix it up okay. and maybe open up their game. Uh. 12,000. Uh, Roland can't fold there, yep. nine jack, and he also didn't really like the raise. Yep. You think he might bet a lot of turns here? Or, <coughs> well, jack? there's different ways of playing it, yeah. Leading out on the jack. turn would be very interesting. Looks like it went check, check, so. But they have a lot of history. Okay. You know, Roland knows that he can't really bluff him. Wow, interesting bet here. <laughs> <laughs> interesting bet. That, that was a value bet right there by uh, Andy with the with the bottom pair. 
he, he was trying to get called get yeah. called by something, right? Yeah. High, came yeah. High. Very interesting, but there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a value bet. Yep. Bottom pair, no kicker. <coughs> Roland sort of shaking his head, saying he is card dead. But I, I just get the feeling Hello. that that might have found something to do with that deuce three club. I don't know. Yeah. No right. And is it is this starting to become a bit of a habit for Andy limping in the small blind here that Annette can uh, exploit, or is he capable of having a big hand here? Uh, uh, yeah, he is capable of trapping, but um, she's happy playing p playing pots so after the flop with happy. position. She gives this one up. <coughs> he is mixing it up on the flop. He's leading out with nothing sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes he's checking and giving it up. So. Yeah, yeah. They're playing uh, a lot of small pots. There's not a lot of action going on here, but um, that. That goes to goes to show that they're all uh, they're all looking oh. they're all looking at the point system and they're all it means a lot to them uh, to move up so they're just uh, they're waiting for somebody else to make a mistake. Pass. No raise. Check. Can be. Can be your hand. The wolf just limped here on the button. Yeah. And now he's going to try and take Ten it here. And that may get stubborn here. Cool. And th this is what this this is a call to bluff, right? It's a, it's a call to bluff, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see if she leads out the turn or if she checks again. Oh, wow. she picked up a straight draw here. But the wolf's got I don't know a draw. Oh wow. Yeah, the wolf She's played this really dangerous, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> look, they both miss, and uh, she's probably gonna take this down here. Really don't see uh, Roland calling, but uh, he does get curious sometimes. Trying to work this out. I mean, it doesn't really look like an eight, does it? It doesn't, uh, 17, it could be an eight, uh, but yeah, there's not many hands it can be that, that just call. Especially, he can't beat a six-seven. He can't beat any kind of a draw. That that, that six on the turn uh, just completely Enough. killed his hand. <laughs> and Annette found a way to win that. Um, I mean, it was pretty clever, huh? Yeah, well, especially to call out of position. A little different. That's uh, pretty, pretty strong to call out of position uh, to bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Pass. <coughs> cool. We've done this all day, and yep. at some point, you just feel like Annette's going to stick a raise in. I mean, maybe it's because she's, she's just thinking about it here. Yeah, no yeah she's going to check it. But she's starting to get table. really suspicious oh, that yep. Andy is 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 <laughs> limping. <laughs> He's limping all the time here. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, wow. Check. Appropriate. Can Annette get away from this with losing oh. nothing? 10,000. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, quick fold. She's playing it safe. Um, pick this up, sir. <laughs> yeah, we should play all day. Then decide that we just she's opening up her game pre flop, but uh, when <laughs> other players bet into her, she's uh, she's kind of been playing it safe. Be she's been time. picking her spots really well. In fact, it would never end because the blind still at 15 30. That's right. Five left in the now. Mm. Yeah. Two or three. It's two plus three. Yeah. <laughs> Andy's been Raised very stable. Twenty-five thousand total. Stable at a half. Wow. Yeah. I tell do it. you what. I tell you what. She's she not is, afraid. She has oh. been waiting. Oh, that sucks. Wow. He's called. <laughs> Quick call. Wow. No. Tell me. Wow. Really? <laughs> 
That was. <laughs> this is. Oh, you guys got one of you. Interesting. Very, very interesting here. Interesting. And, and this is actually kind of a famous hand. This ace three suited. Uh, Noel Furlong <laughs> made this call. He was an Irishman. Yeah. The 1999 World series, series of Poker that's it was the same that's kind that's of move he called really. instantly <laughs> against Huck yeah, Seed at the final table, <laughs> and Huck had like jack oh, eight wow. suited. I mean. Interest. I, I don't know how to explain that. He's been playing tight all day, and then uh, he just right, instantly yeah. calls off his chips with ace three, but. Um, Enough to go to five, five he did have the five best hand, and uh, it looks like a net outflopped oh, yeah. him here. He's going to need an ace or three on the river. Now you're gone. Really big pot here. Right. No, a net doubles up, and uh, she's going to be very dangerous market. with this stack now. Andy and Annette have had a volatile relationship since playing in the Irish Open. Andy is Andy. I mean, he likes to blow up before final tables, and that's well known. Everyone knows it. And, yeah, that's what happened in Dublin, like... He went on tilt after I after I three barreled and when I popped the full house and he just couldn't believe that and then like he called me down with the pair I think it was. And after that he just started playing really 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 badly and then he donated all the chips off to me after like doubling up everyone else at the table first. So I mean that was fun and uh, I, I I really wanted him to do good in that tournament because I felt so bad for him when bubbling him but. I mean, it's, it's his own fall, and he just needs to get over that somehow. Annette is, uh, you know, she's a bit of a machine. You know, she's the first, in my opinion, hyper-aggressive woman player to ever come on the scene. She actually views people who are unlucky as being donkeys. Now, that is strong. As far as her viewing me as a cracker merchant, the only thing I can say about that is, she's right! <laughs> Back to three. Premier League Poker 3. Yeah. Just, uh, playing down to one. Points given out for every placing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, she's going to do it. Oh. Oh. Uh, and Roland's got something. What do you think? Ace ace better than an ace? Uh, yeah, I think with a quick call. Ace king. Ace king. So gonna end, you know? Thank you. I wouldn't be too happy if I were, if I were you. I can't take a better situation. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. It's not going to cost her that much. She's, she stole yeah. she stole quite That's a bit. She's up to 360. This is only going to cost her uh, 76,000. Seven. Seven right on the flop. Seven and it could yeah. cost Roland everything. <laughs> yeah. It's not over yet, Roland. Not over yet. I believe. Good game. We're very Mike. close to the wolf saying Mike sick. Time. And this is well, sick. <laughs> he feels sick. I remember what happened when Dory did that. <laughs> he that whole, uh, all that, mate. Like Unlucky. <laughs> He's trying. He's, He's trying. trying for the power of the walk. Oh, what, 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 yeah. I don't know. He's Does he? I don't know if he's got the vibes. <laughs> the wolf yeah. at the See door. <laughs> <Close on. laughs> and, and that's that's basically all you can say is that's what happens, right? She's ate them like Pac-Man. Yep. She is playing by far the best strategy for uh, for the situation here because they a win means so much for them. Uh, it puts them it puts them in such a great situation. And my guess, Nanad, is that Tony G, the waiting game he was playing had to do with outlasting Roland DeWolf because they were even on points. Um, it might have been actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see now if he yeah. starts shoving because, oh, oh, there he goes. Because um, the difference, there's such a difference. Cool. Wow. wow. And and Andy was on to it. He, he's yep. completely on to it. And it looks like they were all waiting for Roland the Wolf to get knocked out. Well, they were waiting for one other there, player. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is pretty much uh, all in for all. Uh, come on, Tony G hasn't hand covered hand by uh, 9,000. So this is uh, pretty Can much uh, all or nothing please. for both players here. It could be a two-point swing, and it could be more. Yeah. That's a good flop. It's a, very it's good a good really good flop for uh, Andy Black there. He's got to fade Very a queen sure. or a seven. That's not a club. So now he's going to need a red queen, queen seven, Tony G, to. Uh, well, he's going to survive even, it, but he's going to he's going to be uh, very short with 9,000. I did that to him in the European Open. River Same Black. Exact situation. I called a card and it came. No, it's straight flush. Got a straight flush. <laughs> <laughs> that qualifies. <laughs> that qualifies. 
chip in a chair, as they say. But uh, yeah, it's not looking good for him right now. Just looking at this, Nanad, I have the feeling, I mean, if Tony ends up on 20 and um, Roland's only got 18, you still got a chance to make 21. There, there may actually be a back door for you in this yeah. uh, in this uh, Premier League. Yeah, I'm ho that's what I'm hoping. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. But I, whatever, I'm gonna wait it out <laughs> until it comes down to my heat, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to win it. So, still a long way for me to go. But uh, I hope with the win, I can sneak in there somehow. It, it, it'll, it'll be a nice little comeback for me. T Tony G's all in, and does it suit both Annette and Andy to check this down? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It, they're not gonna they're not gonna gain much and uh, nobody has anything check. here wow check, check. <laughs> tony g is gonna win this spot check check yeah, check. Yes. nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. show him the ace yeah, tony good. 20 more <laughs> I've got an ace besides absolutely not like i said he <laughs> triple up another triple up and you, you never know with this game i've seen uh, i've seen it happen with uh, lower stacks i've seen it happen with one ante left Six to the eighth in place. a big tournament i forget which one it was but um i think it was uh bill edler he came back and won a turn he won um uh, world poker to main event and all, all he had left with uh 27 players was uh ante anti-chip and he came back and won the tournament so. he, he wasn't even hiding it under a napkin huh? I mean, <laughs> he had it in the pot yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tony's got twenty-seven thousand, and uh and andy really has to stay out of this pot doesn't he because if he sticks chips in can't annette kind of re-raise him i mean yeah but it, it she'd have to have a hand uh that. she knows that andy's not going to open with a lot of hands but she is, wow, she's thinking about pushing him out of this pot. That's how crazy. That's right. Yeah. No. Uh. <laughs> Insta call from G, and um, this pot, yeah. this pot's 61,000. Oh. A little speedy, maybe. I don't know. Oh, not worth it. Come on. <laughs> he still has uh, two live cards. Jack or seven. Call it out, Tony. Call for the jack. Five would give a little bit of a sweat. No, not anymore. Just needs a jack or a seven now. He's going to try the jacket trick. I think it'd be better <laughs> if he pounded the table and <laughs> asked for the seven. Oh, no. man. Well done. Nice, Sam. Well, nice. That beat you don't hit. <laughs> Four points for Tony G, and the likelihood, Nanad, is that he's going to end up in sixth place when the smoke clears, which probably means, as you said, he's going to still have a performance for his last match. Yeah. yeah. That was unlucky. Just wanted to, yeah, just wanted to win. win another pot there. It would have been exciting. Just yeah, didn't get the chips and didn't win the right hand. Well, it's down to two, Nanad. These were the two that most needed points. And they've managed to get to the heads up. Yep, they both uh, they both needed it pretty bad, and they they stepped it up. Um, I, I really like the way Annette has been playing uh, this whole tournament, uh, this whole heat. And uh, Andy Black, uh, Andy Black has been playing uh, well as well as well. Uh, he just kind of got a little cold deck at the end. He's and a little bit crazy on the edges, Andy. But I mean, you, you gotta love his uh, <laughs> the way he can move his chips, right? Yeah, I mean. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, he's. He's kind of been playing tight, but uh, he, he's also not afraid to stick him in there. And against a net, he, sometimes you got you got to do that. So it, it's going to be an interesting heads up match, especially uh, especially after that big pot that they played. It's going to be interesting. The blinds are big enough. I've I've seen a net. This is the first time uh, I believe she's gotten the um, second time she's gotten a heads up in the Premier League. But she's ultra ultra aggressive. It, um, yeah. Cool. Oh, she limps in this time. And then at the the implications, the all in. Oh wow. All in. Raised all in. The uh, the bracketologists have been sort of looking at this uh, the permutations, and this actually the win I think is is basically more important for Annette than it is for Andy in the sense that if Annette wins here, she is in the top four. Uh, she'll be tied with Tom Dwan, and then. Uh, her and Tom play together in their last match. So it could be a, a situation if Annette wins here where in her last match, she only has to finish ahead of Tom to make the final table. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's that, that, that would mean a lot. Oh. 
<clears throat> um, that would that would affect the play as well of, yeah, of both of them. It's kind of like a last longer between them two, so that might uh, that might slow down Tom. And they're both aggressive players, so that that would make a very interesting uh, final heat for them two. For Andy, it's going to be serious no matter what. Uh, yeah. Even if he wins here, he's going to need a performance in his last match to make it through. Yeah. Obviously, the extra four points will give him more room to maneuver. Yeah, the four points is huge at, yeah. at any stage. Yeah, so. it is, yeah. But uh, yeah, it, w it would make uh, an interesting heat with uh, Annette and uh, Tom both being tied heading into the last uh, heading into the last heat. Does she, does she kind of back people in Annette to sort of a math math strategy? I mean, um, or is there more to it? Is there is there some kind of way to play against her? Is there a recipe for her? Well, you got to pick oh. up the ace jack. I, I don't. I'm cold. And a call. Wow. Quick oh, call. Sick. She called Sick quick, boy. and I don't. She said she had an ace, but I don't. I think Andy's got her dominated here. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I don't. It's it's tough to pick up uh, an, an ace heads up, right. but uh, I probably would have thought about it a little bit with the ace four. But, uh, yeah. Kind of an unfortunate situation, but uh, he did have quite a. He had 142,000 for the all in, and she only had 15 committed. But um, I don't, I don't. You can't really blame that call. It's it's heads up, and it's 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 hard to pick up an ace. Right, and this is her free shot, isn't it? Yeah, Although, is, yeah. There you go. well, it's not free anymore. It's good yeah. stuff. She has some diamonds that she can hit. Nothing sick now. No. Yeah. And uh, Andy, Andy Black's gonna <sighs> double up, and it's. Uh, How much you have? Like 150. They're pretty much uh, even sure. in chips now. <coughs> it's a whole new ball game. Yep. Looking at the chip history now, they're very close to level. Yep. Andy uh, sat back and uh, waited to get heads up, and uh, once you get heads up, you just you give yourself a chance to double up. Heads up, anything, and it can go. Anything can happen. It doesn't matter how many chips you have. If Annette does get second tonight, Annette, I mean. Forget about being in the uh, automatic top four. I think she'll actually, um, she'll. I don't even think she'll be in the top eight. She'll be actually ninth. So I mean, yeah. huge swing for the four points. Yeah, this the four points mean a lot. It's it's hard to get four points. This is like to get uh, even to get two three points. Well, I only have eleven points. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what it feels like, but uh, I, I know it is hard to get uh, every every point in this league. And they've both got top. They've both got a pair. Twenty thousand. Yeah. Top oh. pair, and uh, Andy Black has a middle pair and a in a gutter ball for a straight. This could this could develop into a big pot here. Wow. I think Andy. Checked. Andy hits it on the turn. Oh, she Quick found check. a check. She may not. She may have have just avoided going broke here. Yeah. She, Fifty thousand. She may have to. Nice. Wow. Very Whew. good fold there. Quick fold as well. Wow. How did she? I mean, explain that to me. What's going through her head there? I'm not sure. That was. I, I would have to think about that one. That was. That was either a very good read. That must have been a very good read right there. That was a uh, interesting quick fold there. I. I would have. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, but a very, very, very good fold there. She threw away what yeah. looked like top pair, like it was nothing. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, maybe she's oh. picking something up. But I've seen it sh I've seen her make a lot of uh, a lot of uh, not really questionable folds, but um, some some folds in situations where I'm not I'm not sure I would fold that easy. But uh, every time she seems to be right. So she 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 makes uh, she her post flop play is uh, very impressive. Twenty thousand. I'm still trying to figure it out. She, yeah. uh, if there's one thing about Annette, it's that she is a, someone who makes quick decisions. I guess Annette is just the number of it's, hands she's played on the, you know, internet. Yeah, it's the internet. Uh, yeah, you, you're forced to make quick decisions over there. So she already had her mind up, mind made that she's gonna fold, and uh, she just, she didn't want to second guess herself. She, she stuck with it. She, most people think she's one of the best tournament players there is, but she, she would have to. Be the best speed poker player ever. <laughs> I mean, I mean, would you, wouldn't you want her playing speed poker for you? That was a very <laughs> impressive fold. Oh. Very impressive fold. She limps in with the queen jack here. That's a uh, like a that's a that, that's the type of hand where you want to see a flop, and that's exactly what she's doing here. They both uh, flop gutter balls, Check. gut shot straight draws. Wow. 
Wow, she does. She plays fast. Fifteen thousand. Andy hit the pair of fours, and he's going to lead out with them. She has two overs and uh, straight draw. Gut shot for the straight. Let's see how she plays it. Call. She's going to call. For a second, it looked like she was considering the raise. Yeah. And obviously, she's got lots of wins. Are there any bluffing cards? I mean, is it? Can she win this? Can she win it anyway? I'm, I'm sure she's going to try. A diamond would have been a good card for her. She may give up. No, she Definitely. gave it up. Yeah, you're good. <clears throat> she might have. She, she was probably halfway towards bluffing and then started thinking about the jack high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Andy uh, is not afraid to make some big calls, he and I'm sure she knows that. Yeah. So uh, she decided just to give it up. <laughs> You have to mix up your game. Uh, heads up, that means a lot as well. You can't limp in every time. You can't raise every time. Oh. And she she puts in a good mix of both limping, raising, and uh, and she folds some hands as well. This is very trappy with the ace. I, I I'm I'm guessing Andy's gonna have a hard time believing she's got an ace here. Yeah, that's what she's looking for. That's what she's looking for. Well, Andy's flopped the flush draw here. A net with the ace high when a paired board is usually good. Quick call from Andy. Wow, he's hit right here. Check. I think she's just going to give it up. Flush for black, and this check is meant to get some money. Oh, it just did a straight. Wow. It's a very, very bad card for her. Wow, it's the second time she's kind of been put a cold deck deep into a pot. Hold on. Raised, hold on. Wow. Is Black capable of making <laughs> just this massive sort of bluff here? Uh, well, I don't know. I, and I, I don't think that she knows either. I think she's going to have to get get rid of this. You wouldn't do that with just a four, would you? That's the only, uh, that's the only uh, scenario. He could have only a four, but uh, I don't think... I don't think he would make that move with, only, with, with, with three fours because there's a lot of value in calling. Even if she folds the hand, she still has 211,000 left, which is more than enough. But um, she she's putting a lot of thought into it. Pass. She she lays it down. There's There's been some really, really good poker going on here today. Can anybody <laughs> say they could have done that? <laughs> wow. That would be a really sick bluff. Well, black now, basically a two-to-one chip lead, and the blinds are going up. Yep. Uh, he's in control now, and uh, we're, we're going to see if, uh, now that he has the chip lead, we're going to see if he starts to put the pressure on her or uh, if he's going to do the waiting game and uh, try to trap her. But um, the blinds are getting pretty big now. Are they They're going up to 1020? So uh, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see if he switches up now that he has a chip lead and uh, try, tries to force her to the, to the tough decision of uh, making the all-in call. So... It's going to be interesting. And uh, Annette, I don't know if she's if she's aware of all the standings right now, but if she gets second, there's a huge chance that she doesn't even make the playoffs. All in, all in. Andy can win Both. here and, and still not make the playoffs. Um, obviously, he'll have a great chance if he does, but he's still going to have to pull in a performance. Yeah, yeah. There's still still a long way to go, but uh they did very well getting getting this far. They really needed first or second to give themselves uh a really good shot at getting there and uh they both they they both did it. There's a couple of times when it looks like the cards have conspired for Net to go broke here. Yeah, she's gotten away from a uh, from uh, a lot of uh a lot of situations where she could have went broke. Usually, once it gets past four seconds with Andy, he's going to make a conservative <laughs> decision. <laughs> he, he's thinking about getting stubborn here. Wow. wow. Okay. What a uh, You're ahead. And <coughs> I'm guessing in that, I mean, what, what's the argument for calling here? Uh, well, there's been a lot of limp all in, limp lucky. all in. So uh, <laughs> yeah, he, just thought, uh, he just thought that she has random two cards. Come on. One time. Here we go. Here we go, and uh, he's got okay. the shot. Yeah, he's he has still got alive. the shot. He's still alive. He still needs a queen or a six or running straight cards. Black will have about two hundred thousand uh, yeah. if he misses the river. 
<sighs> Three outs to come, and it could be all over. If not, uh, they reverse spots. Yep. Looks like they're going to reverse, and uh, Annette is going to take the lead again. Wow. She has fought. She has fought so hard. Yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a battle. And he's got to shake that off. Yeah. He could have let that one go, but um he gave himself a shot to win again. This time he was a bit behind, but uh he wasn't that far behind. It was uh 60-40. I said there's a face card. Uh, yeah, it looks like oh, a it looked like a king. Hold. Oh, sick. Two sick. kings, wow. How do you get kings? <laughs> wow. Sick. Uh, it looks like uh, they're going to get reversed again unless Such a uh, wow. Unless uh, Nick can hit Come a five. On. Nobody gets kings heads up. <laughs> Damn. Like you said, this would be a good time to suck out. <laughs> yeah, it's another race. I mean, it's <laughs> just a bigger head start for Andy <laughs> Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate this. I hate poker. <laughs> Ooh, look ah, at that. for look goodness at that. sake. <laughs> that is so sick. Give me a spade. Give me a spade. That is totally sick. Give me a three of spades. Keep it Come interesting. On. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Andy doesn't like the sweat. Goodness me. <laughs> That's just sick. Uh, no, uh, she's, she's going to need a five or, uh, five or a six. <laughs> one more to go. She can finish this tournament off with Don't a five or a do six. It! Oh, Ooh, wow. So sick. She hit so it sorry. on the river. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that sorry, was, Andy. That was really oh, bad. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, I actually had a feeling. That's I did sick. have a feeling. How I'm many sorry. times do you do that to me? Too many. Wow, huge so implications for this Premier League. Let's have a look at the league table. Well, Annette Oberstadt had to come up big, and she did. Ten points for her, vaulting her from out of the pack into the final table zone with one match to go. She's got some work to do, but probably guaranteed for that final eight. In the playoff zone, Dwan taking the bagel. <laughs> he likes to put pressure on himself, doesn't he? 22 points, still good shape. And for Vicky Corrin, first early exit for her, puts her under pressure for that last match. In the relegation zone, what can you say about Andy Black? He tried hard, he got close, but probably is down to needing a win now to get himself into the playoffs. And for Roland DeWolf, he always seems to be so close, but just slipping out ninth place now and one match to go. It's gonna be a lot of pressure. That's a huge swing, that. I go from being somebody who can maybe not need any points to someone who needs to pretty much win. You know, that was the difference between first and second. You couldn't think of a bigger difference. Me and Andy have history. I mean, I've knocked him out of so many tournaments, and he seems to hate me now. And, uh, I mean, those hands were just really standard hands where the chips were going in no matter what. And, I mean, it's just about, you have to get lucky late in these tournaments or else you're not going to win. Next time, it's the last match for six of our players, and emotions are high. Poker is the greatest game in the world, man. That's Miley, let's opinion. get a ruling. What's going on here, Mike? You're yeah, losing get complete rolling. control of the tournament. The bike's out. What the fuck, man? I mean, Tony's so bad, he ships with the three. Just I'm the worst. He knows he's the Keep worst. Keep telling.